Today we're going to be talking about two theorems and we're going to be proving one of them and then we're going to be working through two other proofs. So we're talking about the midpoint and angle bisector theorems today. And first I have a definition for you guys and please make sure you write this down. Deductive reasoning is proving statements with the use of definitions, postulates, axioms, or other theorems that we've already proven. So reasons for in when we're doing proofs, and I know we've already done some of these, but we're going to be doing them all year. Your given is your very first reason, always. Then any definitions you have, any postulates, properties, and theorems. So these are going to be, all these different things are going to be reasons in our proofs. First question, okay, we're proving a theorem here. We're proving something called the midpoint theorem. First, we always start out with the given. And I want you guys to number your steps for me so I can read them. M is the midpoint of AB. Okay, and make sure your statements, remember go on the left, reasons go on the right, and your statements and your reasons line up. Number two. Okay, so M is the midpoint. Now, I always tell students to now take something from the given. M is the midpoint. Well, what do I know if something's a midpoint? I know then, by the definition of a midpoint, that AM is equal to MB. And our reason there is definition of a midpoint. Next, and I'm trying to get AM to be half of AB. Well, I know that AM plus MB equals our whole segment of AB. And our reasoning there is our segment addition postulate. Fourth step, AM equals MB. Well, I'm trying to get an equation involving AM and a B. So if I substitute A M in here, so I'm substituting in A M for M B, we're almost going to have it. Oh, that's step four. And a reason there is substitution. Then step five. Um, we're going to combine AM and AM to get 2AM. And I'm going to call that addition. I mean, what do we do? We combine like terms. Then step six. AM equals one half of AB. And that reason is, um, what, what do we divide? We divide. We, what do we do? We divide, divide it, so that's division. Okay, so we've just proven a theorem. We've proven our midpoint theorem. If M is the midpoint of AB, so I started with the hypothesis was our given. Our conclusion is going to be our proof. Notice how this is different from definition of midpoint. Definition of midpoint is an if-then statement would be if M is the midpoint of AB. then AM equals MB, or AM is congruent to MB. Okay, so notice the two differences there. Next, angle bisector. BX is the bisector of angle ABC. So let me draw you guys a picture of what this looks like. So I have angle A, B, C and BX is the angle bisector. 
Remember, an angle bisector splits it into two congruent, our angle into two congruent parts. And that's our definition. Therefore, ABX is one half of the whole big angle. And similarly, this angle here is half of the whole big angle. Okay, so angle bisector theorem and midpoint theorem. Next example. And I want you guys, when we're doing these proofs, please make sure you're writing down the given, the proof, and the picture, and the two column proof. Okay. We are starting with M is the midpoint, and you can use some abbreviations of PQ. N is the midpoint of RS. And we know that PQ is congruent to RS. And we are given that. Second step. Okay, I need to prove. Now keep in mind what you're trying to prove. I need to prove that PM is equal to RN. Well, think of take something from our given. And remember, work smarter, not harder. Try and utilize the theorems that we've been talking about. Since M is the midpoint of PQ, PM is one half of PQ. And similarly, RN is one half of RS. And that's from our midpoint theorem. When I'm saying that the smaller segment is half of the bigger one. So now, step three. What some of you may want to do, you may want to substitute in right here, but I don't have the one half PQ equals one half RS. So I need to multiply both sides by P by one half. So one half PQ is one half RS, and that would be multiplication. I multiplied the both both sides by the same thing. Now I can substitute. Now I have an equation where I can substitute one half PQ for PM. So PM is equal to RN. And that is substitution. Okay, next example. We're still, well, we are given SV bisects, and I'm using the less than sign for angle, angle RST, RU bisects, angle SRT, and the measure of angle RST is equal to the measure of angle SRT. All right, kind of a big given there. Now keep in mind, what are we trying to prove? I'm trying to prove one is equal to two. Well, let's notice what we have. We have RST, the big angles are congruent. And we have the angle bisector, so it's very similar to our last proof. Step two, angle one is equal to one half of angle RST. And similarly, angle two is equal to one half STR. And line up your reason for number two right next to where you put your statement. Don't put it all the way up here because I'm going to get lost. So line up your statements with your reasons. If you need to draw a line in between, that's fine. Okay, a reason for that is the angle bisector theorem. And that's an abbreviation for angle. Step three. Similarly to the last one, 
A lot of you guys may want to substitute one in there, but we don't know that one half RST equals one half SRT. So we need to state that. And that is going to be by multiplication. Step four. Since I now have those equal, I can say that angle one is equal to angle two. And that is because of substitution. There are your lesson questions for the day. So what you're going to do is you're going to tell me the postulate definition or theorem that justifies this if then statement by our diagram. And please make sure those are submitted on time.